welcome to this video and I need to <laughs> smile here because one of my most fav uh, most uh, frequent opponents is uh, here Guide from France maybe I can do something else something like this maybe um, I can take and play c5 just something else I don't um, think that this is uh, particularly great but why not try for some alternative line maybe here to play c4 hmm. uh, it looks a bit passive yeah but still I can also maybe later go for c45 queen b6 then e3 I don't know I really have no big experience with the fianchetto system Oh, but this does not look too bad. Maybe I can really simply play knight, uh, knight g5 sometime. Knight g5, how does he, does he protect, um, how does he protect f7, e6? Then maybe e3 and knight e4, okay, interesting. Yeah, I'm, I also want to go knight e4. Oh, this I didn't consider at all. It looked uh, strange to me, strategically speaking. Queen b4. Queen b4, this knight c6. So probably just retreat. I didn't expect that at all because it um, removes pressure from the center. But okay, he has e5. Yeah, that's uh, definitely true. So e3 here. Or should I take? Hmm, yeah, taking looks weird. Or bishop e3. Yeah, maybe try that. E d4, bishop d4. Possibly knight f3 bad. Uh, bad. Back. <laughs> Back. Yeah, now I've gotten rid of the dark squared bishop. Uh, this shouldn't be too bad. Think about d5, knight e4. Would be very nice to get in. Mm, I'm not sure about this decision. I get the knight to e4 now, very likely, mm, unless he's playing this, mm -hmm. okay, so, hmm. um, I don't want to exchange queens particularly, I go queen c3, queen d4. Isn't this a good end game, probably? Okay, on the other hand, if I just um, take it, play e3, it's also a good end game, actually. Should be able to, to get some pressure on the pawns. with this uh, excellent bishop here on g2. A4, yeah, A4 to make sure that b5 is not happening. He has knight a5 possibly, but, but still. Um, Yeah, get it over. Get it over to c3. Possibly also knight f6, check knight d5, attacking the weakness directly. Can be done. Check knight d5. 
But okay, let's just go go to the square where it wants to go anyway. Okay. Um, rook d1. Probably rook d1. The idea is rook a2, b2 now. The c4 pawn remains isolated and uh, blockaded by the knight on c3. He's got this piece activity, but um, I don't think it ultimately will help him. Uh, there, there might be tactics, of course, but just um, strategically speaking, this is problematic for him. Also, rook, um, various rook captures are in now. It's um, the c4 pawn has uh, two jobs here, protecting b3 and d3. Okay, I cannot um, I cannot take now. I think because of um, because of uh, the rooks getting into the game directly. I can play bishop h3 though. Provoke f5. And now let's see, can I go bishop f1 simply to exchange it? Or isn't this good? Hmm, it's not so easy. I can, I can keep the position as is. Uh, at the moment there will always be a pawn that I need to attend to when I capture and then rook c7 is coming. So I cannot cannot do that at the moment. Take on b3 or d3. Okay, let's fix the pawns. And just now see how to continue. Um, F4, king, F4. Time warning. Maybe I can I can approach with the king. Uh, behind on time as usual <laughs> but not not hopelessly behind hmm, I can go here Yeah, and now that's a piece. Bishop d5, b3, also coming. It's uh, easiest yeah, with the bishop controlling c2. Black resigns. Yeah, this was quickly, quickly going downhill. Yeah, he just he just um, does not have a good piece coordination here. Those pieces are somewhat um, yeah, they're stranded f5 and just back yeah it's very difficult for black to play this position the computer is on plus 2.5 already which is quite a lot yeah he has a hard time to avoid the capture on b3 or d3 in the long run after preparation he went here bishop d5 is uh, is also strong already check and this okay i overlooked this <laughs> simply overlooked this it's very strong of course okay h4 and uh, here the computer already gives rook d3 as a win yeah i wasn't sure always this is because of this move okay yeah i have bishop f3 and rook d3 to keep everything together okay i understand i just wanted to prepare it as um, thoroughly as possible and here here it's just winning rook d3 wins they all win Uh, and the piece is, is one. The problem really is the structure here. When we go back, this whole structure is um, is now very favorable. The computer points out, however, knight b3, which is good. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, he is getting he's getting in b5. That's a good move tactically. Here, he has this tactical chance which is even leading to a good game for black. 
so probably this wasn't the best way to to go about it rook b1 first maybe yeah also here after queen b6 that's an interesting moment ah yeah the computer gives queen c2 as uh, as clearly clearly superior yeah. they have better development by far this is winning already because I have bishop d5 at some point, I guess. Mm. Yeah, my better development will, will be uh, important. Here I have, um, I can just take because f7 hangs. Okay, queen c2, yeah, I didn't think about that move. Uh, much stronger than the capture. And here I must, uh, I must alter the move order, not uh, this a4 move. But probably something else. Rook c1 maybe. B5. Uh, something along these lines. Now these pawns <clears throat> are weak. Should be something for white. Okay. Thanks for watching.